Have you ever tried adding an annotation to a 3D view? Let's say, for example, a category tag like this one. If you have, you probably see this note. And this is simply because if you want to add an annotation, which is a 2D element to a 3D view, you should lock this view. You can simply add any annotation you want to 2D elements, uh, like these floor plans, ceiling plans, or elevation. But if you want to add one of them to a 3D view, you should lock this view. So as you can see, I can easily rotate and orbit in this view. But if I lock this view from this part, you just need to click on here. And then in this part, you need to save orientation and then lock the view. Give it a name. Let's go with simply A and OK. Now I can just zoom in and zoom out and I won't be able to rotate or orbit in this view. And now with this lock 3D view, we can do a lot of different things. For example, we can add dimensions for this furniture. If you go to this bar, to this dimension panel, you can select this aligned dimension. And if you already know where your work plane is, you can just simply add them and your annotation will be set exactly on a work plane. But if you don't know first, you need to set the work plane. So I'm going to use this peak plane and I'm going to simply click on this part because I want to add dimensions for this base of this desk. Go back to annotation and click on this aligned dimension. I'm going to create one from this part to here like this. Let me change the scale to one by 20. Okay, much better. And now for the other side, I can create one from this part. If you can't see the right face, you just need to press tab and then click from that part to here. I also want another one for this part and I'm going to set it exactly in this part. I don't want to see these background in here. So let me just select this dimension and from edit type, I'm going to change this background in here and i'm going to put it on transparent so we can see only these numbers also if you want to make these parts smaller you can simply go back to this annotation and change this text size from 2.5 to for example 1.5 Yes, this is much better. Now, if you want to create these dimensions for some other parts, again, you need to set your work plane, let's say in this part on this face, and then again, create your dimension for that part. I'm going to create one from here to here and another one from this part to here like this. For the overall widths, I'm going to create another one exactly like this. And I'm going to put it in this part and then I'm going to continue this one to this part and then to here. Okay, now for the height of this table, if you want to set dimensions for that part, again, you need to set your work plane on this face, for example, or on the face in here and then create dimensions from this point to here and then to this part and then to here yes and then you can just simply create another one from the top to the base of this desk i think the witness lines in here are too much so i'm going to go to edit type and you need to find this witness line control there is this gap to element and you can switch it to fix to dimension line and then give a scale give a number to this part i'm going to set it on one and okay this is much better and the view looks so clean i'm going to move them closer like this or also this part i also want to see the size of these parts so i need to set my work plane on this face and then I'm going to put this view on wireframe and then from annotation tab, I'm going to select this align exactly from this edge to this part to here and then to this part and at the end for here. Another type of annotation that you can add to log 3D views is spot elevation. So I'm going to create it for the top of this desk, for example, from this part to here and 
I understand that this is just a family and you don't need to add this as what elevation but sometimes if you want to have like a 3d view of some uh, connection for your beam to come or some base plates maybe for some simply comps you can create it like this and then you can add it to your sheet so this is really helpful i'm going to explain everything that you might need to add to this type of views for your presentations another thing that you can add are tags any type of tag you can add them to this view let's for example go with this material tag i'm going to add one for this part for this light wood in here and the other one i'm going to add it for this part like this and to this part perfect if you had handles or any other type of material on your view you could add material tag for those parts too or you can go even beyond tags and add any information or details that you want for that you can use these text i'm going to add one for this part let's say that these parts are sliding doors so i'm going to just write sliding doors and then i can use leaders and shoulders to like point this text to these parts so if you select your text with these parts you can add leaders for that so i'm going to click on this part because well this is as you can see this has arcs and this not but if i also check this part you can see that if i move this to here it will have like curves like this which i don't want that i'm going to just uncheck it and then i can control all of these parts exactly how i want this is for here and we can simply add another one for this part and we can just call it swing door and then I'm going to put it in this part. And then again, I can use these arrows and exactly point it to wherever I want like this. You can control and manage the style and the size of these tags and these tags and also these dimensions if you want. Just simply select them, go to their edit type and change anything you want. You can change their font, their size, their color and also you can change all of these things about these dimensions as well. This disk is a parametric family so you can control all of these parts in these sliding doors and also this swing door and also you can mm, control this drawer this part in here so if you want to learn how you can create this how you can model this make sure to watch this video thank you for watching and i will see you soon